Lord, we thank you and praise you. Thank you, O God, for all you have done and all that you are going to do. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for what you already have done in our lives and even on today. We give you the glory, give you honor, give you praise. We pray that your word will go forth and that you will uh, confirm my words with signs, wonders, and workings of miracles. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, someone need to hear a word from you on today, oh God. And we forever thank you now that your word is coming to me in the name of Jesus. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. Uh, guys, everyone, if you will, turn to uh, turn to Acts chapter 8 verses 26 Acts chapter 8 verse 26 and it reads and an angel of the Lord spoke unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, unto the day, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and be, behold, a, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of, Ethiop of the Ethiopians, who who had the charge of her treasures and uh, come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto him, said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. And Philip ran there uh, to ran there to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understand it what thou readest. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And he besought him, besought Philip, uh, that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scriptures which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shears, so opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet, uh, the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, there came a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What will hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they both went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch. And he baptized him, and when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went out his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing through, he preached in the, all the city till he came to Caesarea. Those who have a ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. I want to talk to you for the thought, a word in the desert. A word in the desert. Here we will find that uh, Luke, the writer of Acts, uh, had uh, been traveling, if you will, uh, with the apostles and a year that uh, 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 the church was under their fourth uh, persecution, and and uh, and upon their first per fourth persecution, you find that the apostle Paul was the one. The apostle Paul, who was the one who was headed 
uh, on those scriptures, uh, on those persecutions. You know, at the time that Apostle Paul was named Saul, and he was persecuting the church. And when he had persecuted the church, that he ultimately uh, led the uh, uh, the killing of a second. And but I think I need to share with you that uh, even as Saul, who ultimately was uh, uh, start using the name Paul after his conversion, that everyone in the church, if you will, does not have a good or a clean background. So, so Saul was persecuting the church, but then uh, 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 here, uh, while he was yet persecuting the church, the church was scattered abroad. They had gone around uh, uh, preaching and teaching Jesus Christ and him crucified. But I think I need to share with you is that though the, uh, uh, the church was under persecution, that God has a purpose for that season of persecution. You see, when Jesus told his disciples before he ascended into the heavens, uh, that he said that you shall be uh, a weight on power and you shall be witnesses of me in Judea, Samaria, and in the uttermost part of the world. But, but the, the disciples, the apostles, and those who are believers had got content and comfortable in sitting in Jerusalem to where they did uphold, if you will, to be the witness of Jesus Christ. So when, when God had allowed the persecution to go uh, into Judea and Samaria, that scattered the church. And ultimately, when they scattered the church, that the church were, had went to uh, persecute, uh, went to um, uh, spread the gospel throughout the world, just as God had planned it in them to do. So in the meantime, in the meantime, they were still going Jerusalem as been the worshiping headquarters uh, of uh, Israel. And um, there here, this narrative deals with the eunuch and the evangelist Philip. And so here you have that the eunuch and uh, Philip here, uh, the eunuch uh, was one uh, who was a high ranking, the one who was the personal assistant of the Queen Candace and for whom was an Ethiopian. So uh, the, the text suggests to us is that here, that even now that the Ethiopians, uh, there were some Jewish Ethiopians, which ultimately means that there was some uh, dark-skinned Jews. So these Ethiopians, this eunuch and Candace, if you will, uh, that uh, 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 the, the eunuch uh, was one who was authority, one who was over the, the money of uh, the, uh, the uh, Candace, uh, the one who was um, over the, the whole situations as it relates to the queen, that he was one of notoriety, he was one uh, uh, who went to the, uh, the synagogue uh, regularly, he was one who was uh, um, uh, um, a well off to do kind of person. But it is suggests to us what the text suggests is though that with eunuch, this eunuch, that uh, though he was still a man of notoriety and wealth, but he still was missing one thing. And ultimately, he was missing a emptiness within his soul as relates to, uh, to salvation. So I think I need to share notice with you on this morning is that no matter how much money you have, no matter what your status may be uh, in uh, the world, there, there's still something you need, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And I tell you, there is some things that money cannot buy. 
Money cannot buy your happiness. Money cannot buy your joy. Money cannot buy uh, uh, your blessings. Money cannot buy uh, um, uh, uh, you buy your health. But I tell you, you can find everything in Jesus Christ. So put your help this eunuch who has been uh, going uh, to the synagogue, but he yet uh, have not received the word as it relates to Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world. So what does that say is that uh, even we have people even who come to church on a regular basis still have not received in our heart the Lord Jesus. And I tell you, and I tell you that it is a sad commentary for you to go to church 10, 20, and 30 years and never receive Jesus in your heart. Uh, he, he, called, he went there on a regular basis, but it was not until that he was in a desert reading the book of Isaiah that salvation ultimately came to his household. So what is that saying that, that uh, it suggests to us is that, that sometimes that we don't have to be in a church house to receive Jesus in our hearts. You know, sometimes God, he has to put you out in the desert to get you one on one so he can work with you uh, in your heart. You see, uh, salvation to is a heart transplant. You have to be changed from the inside out and not from the outside in. So he was on his chariot and he was in the desert reading the book of Isaiah. And I think I need to share notice uh, uh, with your people is uh, that uh, sometimes you can get the most revelatory word of God right there in your desert place. So what does that suggest is uh, that uh, uh, sometimes you have to be alone. Sometimes God will have you in a desert place. Sometimes God will have you all by yourself. The desert place uh, where there's nowhere or nobody around. There is no one to uh, uh, get your uh, undivided attention. There is no one around. Nobody but you in that desert. And I think I need to share notices that somebody right now, you may be in your desert place. There is nobody around, nobody to help you, nobody to talk to, but I tell you, while you are in your desert place, that you ought to pull out the word of God, because God might have a word for you. Amen. Amen. See, you see, being in a desert place, that uh, 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 nobody be able to get your attention. Sometimes God has to bring you in that there's a place that he may have your undivided attention. So don't worry about anyone or those for whom have moved out of your life and have moved on. You see, because of, uh, just because they moved on, God may be separating you because he got a word for you that's going to help you through your desert situation. Uh, so then uh, uh, you have this unit, you have this well of man that, uh, that uh, was there in his chariot. He was in the, the finest of his chariot and he was uh, there uh, uh, leaving uh, the Jerusalem, leaving the synagogue and he was there uh, sitting uh, there reading the book of Isaiah. Now, and he was reading the portion, if you will, that came out of Isaiah uh, 53 uh, and verses 6 through 8. Uh, he was there uh, 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 reading the, the book of Isaiah. And when he was reading the part, he said, the scripture said that he was led, uh, he was led as a sheep to the sorrow and the lamb before his shears. He opened not his mouth and his humiliation 
his judgment was uh, uh, taken away and he shall declare his generation. So that uh, you have Isaiah 53 and 68. And I think I need to bear notice with you uh, that even when you leave your local churches, when you leave uh, this place, that uh, whatever the word that they have been preached for that morning, that you will go home and go over it again for yourself. And I think I need to share notice uh, that the eunuch was reading the word of God, but he did not have the understanding. So God has sent Philip his way. You see, uh, God uh, told Philip to go uh, towards the desert. Uh, but Philip did not know uh, that there was someone there for whom uh, God wants him to minister to. Uh, and I think I need to share notice with you. Uh, sometimes uh, God will send you to the strangest of places uh, that you may deliver a word to those who are in the desert. Uh, that you may still send a word to those who are yet experiencing uh, emptiness in their lives. And I tell you, I tell you people uh, that um, uh, uh, sometimes uh, when God tell you to go to a certain place uh, that you need to go uh, because someone there uh, may need some insight uh, on the word of God. So he had some Philip uh, and Philip sought the unit there uh, and read the book of Isaiah. Uh, and I tell you, uh, uh, so when he went uh, uh, to meet up with the unit, he asked the eunuch, do you understand what you are reading? Uh, so then uh, he said, how can I understand uh, if there's no one here to explain it? Uh, and I think I need to share notice. Uh, and that's why God, uh, uh, there's a time, uh, uh, if you will, uh, if you don't understand uh, the word of God, uh, that he has called apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, uh, uh, that they may expound on his word. You are not going to understand. Or oh, everything uh, in the word of God. <laughs> he will uh, send someone your way that you may uh, get a, a clear understanding. Uh, so uh, when uh, Philip uh, met up with the unit, he had uh, an opportunity to explain the word of God. Uh, so then, uh, as he was there uh, explaining the word of God, uh, he explained Isaiah uh, 53 and 6 uh, and uh, talked about uh, how Jesus uh, was led uh, uh, from uh, a courtroom to court and how he was led as a sheep uh, to the sun. And then uh, uh, when and then uh, uh, when uh, uh, the eunuch uh, uh, heard uh, the preaching of Philip, uh, uh, that Philip, uh, and then they uh, went on the, uh, down the road, uh, and then uh, the eunuch uh, uh, understood, uh, and he believed uh, uh, in uh, Christ Jesus. Uh, and then when uh, he saw the war, uh, uh, the eunuch as uh, uh, Philip, uh, Oh, why is it uh, that I cannot be baptized? And then uh, you will find uh, that Philip said, that uh, if you believe uh, in your heart uh, and confess uh, with your mouth uh, and then the eunuch uh, said uh, unto uh, unto uh, uh, the eunuch said to Philip uh, he said that I believe uh, and what will forbid me for coming uh, into the water and then uh, right there in the desert that um, uh, Philip uh, had uh, uh, baptized 
the eunuch and I could imagine uh, in my mind's eyes uh, that uh, the, uh, Philip uh, and the eunuch is there in the water and Philip uh, raised his hands towards heaven and he said uh, perform uh, upon uh, your confession uh, of your faith uh, that I baptize you uh, in the name uh, of the Father uh, and the Son uh, and uh, the Holy Ghost uh, and there he had uh, uh, baptized uh, the eunuch uh, right down uh, in the middle uh, of the desert and I think I need uh, to share notice uh, on some of you uh, on this morning. Uh, yes, you may be in, uh, in your desert place. Uh, yes, you may be in, uh, all uh, by yourself. Uh, yes, you may be in, uh, where nobody uh, can find you. But I tell you, uh, you ought to uh, open up your word. Uh, Open up the word of God and sin when you open up his word that he will send you an encouraging word. How many of us know sometimes that being in the desert is not a bad place to be? In the desert, uh, God could give you a miracle uh, right there in the desert. You remember uh, when uh, the Hebrews uh, were going through the desert, uh, the God bring matter from all the high. He led them by the fire by night and a cloud by day uh, right there in the desert. You remember uh, when there was that God told Moses uh, to strike the rock uh, and out came water uh, right there in the desert uh, and I tell you uh, all uh, you have to do uh, is believe uh, in your heart uh, and confess uh, with your mouth uh, because miracles uh, can be done uh, right there in the desert Excellent. How 
Amen. Let the church say amen. Who got everybody to, uh, to stand? Now remember on Monday is our Miracle Monday and, and Wednesday is our uh, prayer hour. Thank you. 